these are all stats driven. Um, I feel like the I feel like our, all of our betting shows are quite willy nilly. So <laughs> I just feel like we need to bring it back in, and I'm the guy to sort of bring some structure to the betting game. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Oracle, the number one betting show in the YKTR platform. We are currently selling in the BSC content studio, joined by my good friend, the Oracle, the Bulldog Strike. Yeah. What other nicknames you got? Um, Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker, heartbreak kid. Or heartbroken. Uncertif- oh. Uncertified lover boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, me, man. That's me. How'd you get the nickname um, Jordan Siri? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you gave it to me, you fucking egg. Yeah, All it's right. not. It's not going to stick. I don't think. Manu Samoa into the World Rugby World Cup. Um, was yep. that you, any relation, uh, Uncle? That John. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But um, yeah, yeah. Pretty tight with some of the boys from um, Manu Samoa. Like um, who? I don't like to name names, but um, <laughs> do, you know, do you know anyone in the Samoan rugby side? Yeah, I do. I do. But I, the, the, I don't like to name names, as I said. So um, I'm pretty excited for them, eh? Favorite Samoan rugby union player of all time, um, La La Lamb. Mm. Good, friend. A, Good who, friend of mine, Brian Lima. Uh, chiropractor. Chiropractor. What yeah. a nickname! You could snap people in half. Yeah, for, or, break what, their back. Is that nah, what, what is? What is um? What's that? What's that? Wingers. His brother played for England. Oh, Tuolungi. Yeah. Wow, those those brothers are Henry? scary. Eh? Henry A. Eh? Farfili. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Sorry, running a little bit of low on time today, so we're just going to roll into our bets. Um, he's advised me that he's done a bit of research this time, so no more um, willingly. Yeah, well, um, a lot of people don't actually know, but I used to bet full time. <laughs> <laughs> that was my full time job. Um, I just go off off um, stats, statistics um, over the past five, six years. So I'm going to incorporate that into my NRL. You know what they say, stats don't lie. Let's roll into game number one. Parramatta Eels versus the boys from the capital, the Canberra Raiders. What do you got, bro? <sighs> Sorry. Very exciting game here. Um, let's go. Uh, I've got Parramatta head-to-head. Um, <laughs> my anytime try score is Ryan Madison. So you're just going off the top of the dome or are you going to touch the dome? Pardon me? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What a show, man. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is statistics. I'm not going. I'll, 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 I'll touch it for fucking old time's sake. But uh, we'll just do one touch. One touch. All right. All right. Should we start again? <laughs> nah, just keep it rolling. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, fuck, here we go. Let me just. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> sorry about that. I've got Parramatta head to head. I've got uh, anytime try scorer Ryan Madison. He's paying $3.20. He's in good form at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, well. Um, He's actually scored um, three of his last four matches. Do you reckon, does it remind you of multi, you know, when you do a test in high school, you do a multi-choice and like, you know, if it's B, B, do you like, oh, it's not going to be B again? Do you ever think about that or I, are you just going purely off stats? I'm going purely off stats. So you got no gut feeling? Is that gut feeling? Just stats, stats, stats? These are all stats driven. Um, I feel like the, I feel like. Our, all of our betting shows are quite willy nilly, so <laughs> I just feel like we need to bring it back in, and I'm the guy to sort of bring some structure to the betting game. Yeah, all right. So you're rolling in. So Parramatta head to head. Yeah, head Ryan to head. Madison anytime, anytime try scorer, and I've got Reed Mahomes at anytime try scorer. Reed Mahomes. Oh shit, <laughs> Mah- Mahoney. Reed Mahoney. Reed Mahoney. Mahoney. Any relation to uh, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Same, same. Uh, he's paying three dollars seventy five. Uh, his second game back as well He sort of rolled into form straight away So not yeah. a bad little bet there Yeah, uh, this, Is this just one big multi as well? This is We're swinging for the well, fences you, you can actually make turn this into a big multi I don't know if Sportsbet would pay it out But um, but We'll get to you that can, number a you can actually later. You can actually go One game if you want Or just chuck them all in together Or pick which ones you want But uh, And I'm also going under 48.5 total points which, Under 48 Yeah yeah. So that brings it to forty seven dollars and fifty cents. Just off those four bets. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good, eh? Um so rolling to the second game, Sydney Roosters versus my boys and Newcastle Knights. KP's back as well from last week. Rolling into a bit of form. Man, who we got? Oh. <laughs> Let me just quickly touch this real quick. Ooh, okay. Oh. Ooh. Some something special. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh I've got Roosters head to head. Um, I've got my anytime try scorer would be Billy Smith, who's paying two dollars forty. Right, he's got some tries in him, bro. Yeah, he scored a try in each of his last four appearances. Mm. So, 
Um, pretty excited for him. Obviously, he came off a ACL injury, um, so I'm so I'm happy to see him back on the field. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyone else? Um, I've actually got um, what's his name, Matt, on the wing, Ikevalu. Yeah, Ikevalu. Bro, he's a, he's a, he's slept on. Him. He's slept score, on that guy. I've got him to score two or more tries, um, and he's paying three dollars seventy five cents for that. Um, he scored two or more tries in Sydney's last four matches in Queensland. What was that? Sorry. What do you mean? Say that again, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Matt's actually scored two or more tries for Sydney in his last four matches in, in Queensland. Yeah, well, that's a yeah. good stat. Yeah, thank you. I like that. So total for that? Or Nine dollars fifty. Bit of jam. Bit yeah. of jam. I like that. Fuck you are a lot more prepared this son. I like Thank it. You. Uh rolling into Friday night game, North Queensland Cowboys struggling at the moment, going up the mighty force against the up against the mighty force of the Melbourne Storm. North Queensland head to head paying ten bucks. <laughs> if I, <laughs> uh, Imagine reading that as a what's what's the boys from you read that in the in the sports bet. What are you thinking if you play for North Queensland? Um you obviously have a look at um, next year's buys <laughs> and how long's left on your contract. Can you tank in the NRL and get the first round draft pick? That what do you be- reckon about draft like Drafts in the NRL Oh uh, no nah. You don't reckon? No nah, Because then it takes away From junior development So why would Penrith start Developing juniors When someone's just Going to poach them anyway Yeah well I think The only people that have Developed juniors And kept them as Penrith <laughs> Yeah but like um, like We don't have a college system here mm. So it's like There's no really point I feel like if they were To introduce a draft system Then Potentially, schools it would be spread over yeah. different schools, you know, because it's only like that. It's only like certain schools that get. How many? Eight, how many seventeen-year-olds can walk into the NRL next year? Mm, off the top of my head, no. one. <laughs> <Pain us. laughs> so that that's the gap. So yeah. there's those those that develop a little bit later. You go your Cody Walkers, your Damian Cooks that come on a little bit later. Do they fall through the system? Who knows? Or does the school system need to add on an extra year? School. No. <laughs> um, all right. So I've got Storm head to head. Um, this is this one's a pretty pretty small return, but I've got Storm t- head to head. Uh, Ado Carter scored two or more tries, and uh, he scored two tries in the last three of his six games versus the Cowboys. Over fifty one and a half points is dollar ninety. You'd you'd half cop that. Is yeah. that in yours or nah? Um, I just think with Storm uh, missing a few players, I don't really want to go into the points. I've just got Ado Carter score. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So any total. Uh, yeah, that's paying two dollars thirty-seven. You just, I'd, I'd combine that with another with the Bulldogs game, but that's coming up. Yeah, true, true. All right, so rolling into Saturday, three o'clock, uh, Rabbitohs versus the Wilds. Um, I, so I'm going South head to head here. Mm. Um, South of uh, South have won fifteen of their last fifteen matches as favourites. Yeah, so um, going fifty-one point five over total match points. Each of the last um, seven matches have gone over the total point uh, total points margin. So, um, and I'm going. What do you say? Like cover the line? How do they pronounce that? What do you say? Yeah, I don't know. Cover the yeah. spread. Cover the spread. Well, what if it's negative? Yeah, they cover it. That's so, covering it. Yeah, that's the team covering it, right? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, they've just added this option to sports bet. Um, minus seventeen point five <laughs> Souths. Um, that's that's a small one too, but you could you could roll that into um, into into Melbourne's game, so that's paying two dollars and eighty seven cents. Cool. Any try scorers or anything up nah, there? No, none for that one. No. All right. So the Bird Gang versus the Tigers. Um, Tommy Turbo's back. Surely he's in in one of these. Yeah, I'm going Manly head to head. I'm not putting Tommy Turbo in, in any time. I'm going um, <coughs> Saab. Why? Um. I just personally I don't like the guy. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, no, no, no. I just I just feel like Saab. Um, yeah, is is the guy I wanted to pick, and he's paying dollar forty. So, um, and I'm going over uh, fifty point five total points overs. He scores in bunches too, doesn't he? Yeah, um, Saab's. Is, yeah, you got two or just just want to jack just, the one? Just the one. Yeah, just the one total. Uh, wait, and um, I've got Manly to cover the line at seventeen point five. Uh, that's eighteen point five. Oh, they've changed it. Yeah, must have gone up a bit. Um, well, yeah, I've got them to cover that. They've covered the line in the last four matches, and that's paying three dollars and thirty cents. Mm, I like that. So, it's a bit of jam for you guys too. Uh, Penny Panthers take on the Brisbane Broncos. Ooh, this is a hard one. Nah, <laughs> um, I'm I'm going Panthers. 
Um, I'm going Tio anytime, and I'm going Benny Tio back. Yeah, Grouse. Wait, uh, what? Brian Toto. No, Toto. Sorry, oh. sorry. No, not Benny. Fuck no. I feel you saying Tio. <laughs> no, no. Tio. Sorry, for fucking. My English is a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going uh, under 51.5 points. Under. So five of the last six games have gone under the total line for Panthers. Mm. And pa- that's paying $3.30. Very liney. I'm just here to cr- provide opportunities for people to make money during this <laughs> hard time. All right, probably game of the round, St. George of the Dragons versus the Gold Coast Titans. <laughs> Um, this is a real, real small one too. Um, I'm going Dragons head to head. That's paying two dollars fifty five. Yeah, and Dufty anytime try score is paying two dollars, and that's paying four dollars twenty. So in and out. Yep, that's it. Bang. And your boys, the doggies, go up against the Sharkies. This is the this is the actual game where you can make some jam. Yeah. So dogs are paying three dollars thirty five. I've picked them to win. I'm the Drake of the Bulldogs. I'm the fucking Drake of the Bulldogs. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Head to head. Mm. Um, and I've got uh, Jaden on the wing. Anytime try score is paying two dollars twenty, and that's paying six dollars. That's all right, eh? That's a pretty good one. So have you multi these all up as well? Yep, that's eight hundred and forty-five thousand five hundred and sixty-five dollars and nineteen cents <laughs> if you put them all together. <laughs> but Man, I like it. Hey, but- you could you can only put one one dollar and twenty cents on it. Is that it? One dollar. As you can't put any if, you, more? if the multi goes over a mil, then it's sometimes sports bet. <laughs> Is that a thing, Jacko? Yeah, yeah, no, that's, they don't pay out over a million. T's and C's. So what? What was if it's over a mil? Can you get up to a million of it? Or no, no, they won't allow you to put on. In a lot of cases, they won't allow you to put on money that returns more than a million dollars. Shit, that's, yeah, that's shit, eh? Yeah. So I mean, if you were to pick any of these multis that I've just provided, I'd say go dragons and dogs. Put those together. You're looking at around eight dollars. Yep. Um, and I would look at putting the um. I'd look at putting the Souths game and the Penrith game together and potentially stuck chucking the Storm in the last one as well with the Dogs and the Dragons. All right. A little bit weird if you organise. Pardon me? <laughs> it was a little bit weird if you organise, but um, hey, we'll see. we'll see how we go next week rolling into this. Thanks for your time, Oracle. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you.